She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving, honey, she's moving on. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Most of you are aware that Kenya Moore was on Instagram yesterday, Instagram Live yesterday. So if you missed it, I have linked it in the description below. But it's the last video I uploaded before this one. So absolutely go ahead and support that video if you missed it. Portia threw a little shade at one of the newbies in her Amazon Live. And I'm going to do a separate video on it. But when I went to her Instagram story to get the link to go and get the content from her Amazon Live that she did recently, that's what I noticed that she posted something supporting Kenya Moore. But guess what I had to go through to get it. Hey everybody, if you missed my Amazon Live on yesterday, do not worry. You can still shop my carousel. It is all about revamping your home and your bedroom. Yes, yes, yes. So click the link down below and enjoy shopping. Mwah. So I clicked on that link and it took me directly to Amazon and it takes you there hi everybody i am super excited to be back and after i got what i needed from the amazon live i came back and i kept clicking and then i saw this right here hi everyone hello waiting for you guys to join yes okay she's going her she's going her Portia basically saying, while well, Kenya Moore's so-called bestie Cynthia Bailey, a former bestie Cynthia Bailey is on mute, I'm rocking with Kenya, and I'm still rocking with Kenya, and she reposted Kenya Instagram Live. We love at, she tagged Kenya, support Kenya Moore hair, okay? So most of you are aware at this point, Kenya quit the Real Housewives of Atlanta because she said that she did not feel protected. And at this point, I'm signing like a broken record. So you all know the story by now. Allegedly, argument happened in one of the scenes. And newbie said, I have a gun for B words like you. And then that newbie was allowed to attempt to crash Kenya Moore hair spa opening. Because Bravo saw the disagreement as two women arguing and did not take it seriously. But when someone is mentioning guns and things like that, allegedly then I don't feel safe or protected. Yeah, I know Kenya be quick to be like, security? Anyways, Kenya's statement is on the screen for those of you who missed it. Go to the RHOA playlist to watch all of the videos and all of that. Well, fast forward to weeks of people telling lies and all of these different things. Well, Kenya committed revenge P and all of that. Kenya, of course, denied that she committed revenge P. Bravo have yet to release a statement saying that Kenya Moore was released from the network because she committed a crime and she committed revenge P. There's no confirmation that she did this, okay? It's just been rumors. However, after weeks of the smear campaign, execs over there were like, Kenya Moore was never fired, confirm it. She was never suspended and she was never fired for revenge P. Kenya Moore chose to leave. And if Kenya wants to come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the doors are open. She can come back. So we shall see. Most of you are aware that after all of that happened and things were calming down and people felt like, okay, people are moving on and all of that. The next story was that Sally Beauty was distancing themselves from Kenya Moore and discontinuing her product and whatever relationship they had with Kenya Moore due to these allegations, okay? Now, there was also something going around with that story, but let's just say you believed what you heard. There was a fine print in there that read, Kenya Moore and Sally Beauty were already coming to an end of their deal they had together way before any of this happened. So whether she committed revenge P or not, 
their relationship was ending anyways. So when I did my video, I said, let's just say you believed what you saw or read. When things like that happen, the company and that person can say, okay, our relationship been great. I'm open to moving forward and signing, you know, a deal for more years, or I'm grateful for everything you all have done for my business and my company so far in our partnership, but I do want to move on, okay? So regardless, that's the part where it wasn't clear if Kenya or Sally had that conversation. And most of you are aware that in true Kenya Moore fashion, she released this video, basically, you know, getting ready, washing her hair, did not have a product, pull up to the store, imitated, you know, what her stalkers and be on, went in there, got her product. Now, let me just say something real quick. I was reading comments like, it's not even on the top shelf. Do you even have a shelf in the store? The people leave in the comments. Do y'all even have a shelf or even a corner or a little box somewhere? This black woman can walk into stores, CVS and Sally's and see her product on the shelf. Say congratulations to this self-made hardworking woman, not Oh my God, it's not even on the top shelf. I mean, the hate that some of you have towards your own is so disgusting. And it should never, ever be that deep for people you don't even know. We're just talking about them. But anyways, Kenya Moore got her product off the shelf. As you can see, that's why I brought that up. Because there were some comments, it's on the bottom shelf. And I'm like, what shelf do you have? In what store? DM me so I can pull up to the store with your shelf, your top shelf item. <laughs> you know, and then Kenya, of course, walked out of the store and all of that, okay? Now, like I said, I saw some comments, okay? Because other places reposted this video. I'm just talking in general to the people who, you know, sometimes when Kenya is posted, it's like, okay, let's find something to hate on. I've always said, I don't want to smoke in these YouTube streets. Content will never, ever be directed to anyone, okay? Now, you already know how I roll. If I'm reading social media reactions, those comments are on the screen and I'm reading them. I'm just not focusing on that right now. And speaking of reading comments, under the Instagram live that Portia Williams reposted supporting Kenya Moore, this is what I saw in the comment section. Sally Beauty dropping some hearts emojis and Kenya Moore responded with some purple hearts. Now, if I own a company and someone committed a crime and I'm trying to distance my brand and myself from that person, I'm not dropping a period I'm not dropping a wink. I'm not dropping nothing. I'm not acknowledging or associating anything with that person. I'm staying away. I can already see this being twisted for the people who do not want to believe that this woman have a decent relationship with Sally's. Oh, you know, Sally's is just publicly pretending like, look at us, we're cool with Kenya ignore the rumors because they do not want Kenya Moore possibly filing a lawsuit because they are ending their partnership based on false claims and lies and all of that. So they're just dropping little hearts here and there to prove to Kenya girl, we still got you. Whatever you want to believe. I'm just saying no brand that is trying to distance themselves from someone who people are claiming committed a crime is going to be still associating themselves, supporting them, leaving comments, dropping emojis, and all of that. It's not happening. So as far as Kenya and Sally's relationship, as you can see, everything is all good in that department. And Kenya Moore will always be vindicated. And I know I said they have a decent relationship, but from the looks of it, they actually have a great relationship and just to be a little extra i clicked on sally beauty name just to make sure it was really their page of course they're verified just to show you all it is the real sally beauty page so everything is all good with that partnership and business relationship and even if you part ways with a company that you had a partnership with 
for years and did amazing things with it doesn't have to end in a bitter way because they were a part of your journey so regardless once again i'm wishing kenya more absolutely nothing but the best now i'm going to end it with someone getting straight to the point were you really fired from our issue a kenya responded no glad to hear that you are the reason i watch heart emoji i want you back on our hoa so kenya was like there's no need to ignore the comment or be mad clap back block people i wasn't fired however people out there believe what you want to believe and that's that so Portia williams regardless of how you feel about her and all of that hey she used her instagram story to promote kenya more hair care to her millions of followers so kudos to Portia. oh and let me just quickly say i was just joking at the beginning cynthia billy is not obligated to have the same energy or show the same public support as Portia williams sheree would feel candy bears and the list goes on and on maybe cynthia is having private conversations with kenya moore you know cynthia is in hollywood now chad she's an actress well, who knows what's going on behind the scenes and who's advising her to not say something or whatever. Cynthia was there. She saw what happened. Portia was there as well. She saw what happened. And Portia is still out here publicly supporting Kenya. So whatever Cynthia Billy reason is, like I said, maybe she's having private conversations with Kenya Moore. I'm only talking about it just to let you all know that, yes, I've seen the DMs. And I've read the comments. Why is Cindy Billy on mute? So before jumping to a conclusion, we never know what's happening behind the scenes. But anyways, on that note, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And please do not forget to visit Sally Beauty, CVS, go online and support our girl Kenya Moore if you cannot visit the stores. Or if you are in Atlanta or visiting, support her spa, book an appointment, and visit Kenya Moore Hair Spa. I wish you all of you well and take care. We got Kenya in Brooklyn on vacation. Check y'all out. Is that a Brooklyn bridge behind you? Wait, mommy. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready and post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.